Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. And we have another video for you today. We have some sales to pull from over the weekend. It is Monday, and we're going to start pulling those sales now. All right? Don't mind the mess. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> Look at this messy table. Super messy. <laughs> That's just because I just shoved everything in that bin. <laughs> that was what was on the That's table. Yeah. Put away today. <laughs> okay, starting over here. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. Although, who knows when Chris is gonna have this video up? <laughs> It'll probably be evening. I know. He always put up at like five, six p.m. So these New Balance, they're like a composite toe or something. Just a really nice work shoe. Um, I did pay up for these at Goodwill. $16.99, but they sold on Posh for $63 with discount shipping. So almost a $40 profit. It's yeah. a really awesome sale there. And those were a nice big size, right? Yeah. 13s like or something? 14, 14, maybe. Maybe even a 15. And they're wide? 15. 15, <laughs> 15 with a 4E. Yeah. 15, 4E so wide. It's a really nice so. pair of shoes. You know, that's probably a hard to yeah. find size. And they look so really, that, really nice. Yeah, like they look brand new. When I was a working man, um, <laughs> I would have loved to wear those in my size, obviously. <laughs> I'm not a 15, but. I don't have quite as many sales today, so you can show you. I don't know if I told you, but I did stuff. order oh, yeah, yeah. post well, office peel boxes. Oh, yeah, I saw that email okay. that you did. So we do need to still do the eBay boxes. Yeah. Which I don't think these might fit in any of the. Those are big boys. I don't think they're going to fit in they, there. One fits in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to use our own box for that, which is fine. Because yeah. the last time I ordered eBay supplies, I got this random size box, which I thought I was getting a box close to like the you, this size. Right, right. 15 by 8 by 6. I think it was like 16 by 14 by something. And it like, it's like double this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that useful, but it'll be perfect for those. I'll just keep these here. I'm sure we sold yeah. some shoes. That was first. <laughs> All right. Oh, and it still came out. <laughs> then, uh, now Chris is probably going to just package it up in the shoes anyway. <laughs> hey, I only did that one time. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> All right. This sale. It's the brand Mate, the label. It's like an organic cotton line. Uh, it's a good brand to look out for, I would say. Every time I've sold it, it's sold pretty quickly. This pair, so the only reason I have these, so I bought something from an Instagram friend. She does a ton of wholesale, so she has like a bunch of this right now in her closet, mm. although she's probably sold out of it by now. Anyways, I bought a sports bra from her, but she accidentally sent me this, and I I only check the mail like once or twice a week, so I'm yeah. posh. If you don't like do anything within three days, it just like auto-completes yeah. your order, so... By the time I even knew what was in there, because I was like, oh, it's a new attack item. I don't need to rush to the mailbox. Right. Anyway, so she might have just accidentally swapped. Either swapped or just, I don't know. Right. Anyways, <laughs> no big deal. I barely, so the, what I paid for them, technically I paid twenty three oh four, but I had a $10 posh credit from one of you guys joining with my code. Thanks. Um, Speaking of, yeah, there's a link. <laughs> there's yeah, a link down in the description. Whenever you guys join with our code, you get ten dollars to spend on Posh, and I get ten dollars if you spend your ten dollars. So. Right. Anyway, someone spent their ten dollars. I got ten dollars, so I put it towards these. So technically, out of my own pocket, I only paid thirteen oh four for them. No big deal. I was like, I'll just reposh them, and I did, and got an offer of thirty. So I made twenty four dollars back on them. Technically, out of pocket, I paid thirteen. So if you look at it that way, I'm making profit. Mm -hmm. If you look at it as in it, my ten dollars was also my money that I spent. I'm still making like a ninety cent profit, which right, no big deal. I listed on they sold within a couple days. Not that mad about that. For sure. Yeah. Anyways, if you didn't know, Posh, you have to rate your order within three days or auto complete. So always a good thing to just check that first off you get the right thing. Second off that it doesn't have flaws or anything. Yeah. Because yeah, once it passes, they're really not going to do anything for you. And I wasn't even going to push the issue with this because. I buy from this person all the time and I love right. her store, so. And be better than us yeah. at checking your mail because we're bad at checking our mail and our P.O. box, which we have oh, uh, yeah. some over there that we will open up a yeah. little bit later and, um, well, later in this video, so. But I think it, it we've got like a third notice on that. <laughs> so it had been sitting in there for a little while. Yeah, so thank you guys for yeah. stuff. So these Skechers golf shoes bought for $10.99, sold for $40 with discount shipping on Posh. And probably do a medium flat rate on that. And I grabbed a Tyvek, but I actually like the foldy boxes for this one. Mm. We'll save that. Folding box and a medium flat rate. Okay, this is 
is a viewer sale going out. I don't know your actual, well, this might be your actual name. It says RC, so okay. RC, thank you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm imagining that's just initials, but thank you so much. She said she was going to add a like gift card and give it as a gift for Christmas. So oh, nice. just a nice little Colorado mug. Uh, we got this on Facebook Marketplace. Someone was selling a bunch of Starbucks mugs. I grabbed a few for $5 each, and RC bought this for $22 with discount shipping. So I accepted the Posher VA offer. Awesome. Thank you so much. RC, thank you so much for that support. We do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm debating. I don't know. I let Chris usually handle all the mug stuff, so he can choose which box. What is it, what is it sold on eBay? It's Posh, so we can Posh. do any box. I just Yeah, I'll know. probably do a shoe box with bubble wrap yeah, and uh, just padding. yeah, some paper and stuff. We have, unfortunately, had yeah. a couple things break, so... Oh, thank you again, RC. Yeah. And look at this guy. Look, when we're not about to be leaving out of town, he, like, just sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> the look he just gave you. <laughs> it's like, really? You woke me up for one little Oh, you want the tummy rub? Oh. Good go. go, boy. Man, you are getting gray. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so these Kohans, these are like a zero grand knit flat, bought at the bins for two oh nine, sold for twenty five dollars with discount shipping on Posh. Um, I didn't think we were gonna make much sales this weekend because the last video you saw was just the after FlipCon yeah. shipping, and we shipped pretty late Saturday. Yeah. So this is mainly Saturday evening, Sunday, and then till now. And I have Monday about really, 1 30. Yeah. I've only listed maybe 15, 20 items in the whole last week. So I was just like, it's going to be slowing down until I get some new listings up. But for that reason, I sent out 50% off offers mm. and got a few sales from that. So okay. even though that doesn't seem like a lot, 25 discount shipping, this is still almost 15 yeah. or so dollar profit, which I think that's great. And moving some older stuff out. Um, that'll probably be a shoe box for Posh. Okay, and this was another 50% off sale on Posh, which I'm glad to move any of these taller boots. Yeah, that's a lot of real yeah, estate on the shelf. off of our death pile shelf. Chris buffed them up for me. The leather was pretty well worn. These came from the bins as well. They're up boots. But as he was buffing them up, he noticed like one of the buffles was broken. Oh, yeah. So this just doesn't have the thing to stick it down into. Like yeah, the, the ring, holdy. the loop that goes around. And you could probably add that. So, so anyways, for that reason, they came from the bins. I had $1.84 into them, sold them 50% off for $29 with discount shipping. Still about a $20 profit. Yeah. And we're moving them along. And that was obviously disclosed in the listing yeah. that it was missing that loop. So. But we didn't see it when we got, you know, obviously yeah. when we picked them I up. I probably would have bought them just because they were Uggs. But right. Yeah. Um, those don't usually fit in any of the those boxes, so again, yeah. we'll have to use our own. All right, box C. Oh, yeah. These are the brand Naturalizer, and actually our viewer Debbie sent us a, just like a box to open and sell whatever she sent us, so this was in there. Um, and I sold them for 19 with discount shipping. So awesome. Shout out Debbie. Thanks for sending Debbie. us these. Speaking of Debbie, she also sent us a letter and I did read through that letter. Okay. Uh, she did not want us to mention, well, she did not want us to open and read it online. Um, but Debbie, thank you so much for that. Yes, and <laughs> we do appreciate all of your support for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, Debbie. We've sold many of the items you've sent. Us. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a large flurry on those. All right, CI, Joseph Sibel. Just listed these before we left for FlipCon. Uh, I did pay $12.99 for them. I got a $30 offer, which only leaves me with $10, $11 profit. I decided to accept. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. So I'll take $10, $11 any day. Get things moving. And those will go out in a medium flat rate box. DI. I'm very glad to sell this. I feel like I've had these well over a year. These are the brand Vents, which is a very expensive brand new. I don't know. Some resellers I listen to love selling it. Mm -hmm. I've never had any luck with it, really. I definitely think their clothes are better, but even still, I haven't had luck with any of their clothing pieces I've sold. So, 
These sneakers I got from the bins, $1.31 into them. Sold for $14 with discount shipping, finally. Mm. So maybe making like $6, $7 off those. Yeah. But those are pretty large, so I'm very glad to have that real estate in the box back. Yeah, and that does bring up a good point as far as what you hear on youtube and stuff from other resellers you know especially us like we just we try to show you guys what has sold for us <laughs> that doesn't mean you know go out and buy all the crocs you can buy <laughs> right i was watching courtney common tags video about just like all the bad she asked her like instagram followers and stuff what's some bad reselling advice right. you've gotten and it doesn't say like who said it or whatever. right 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 but i watched the whole video and i'm like yeah that's pretty bad advice <laughs> like, think about i'm like man i hope like none of you guys just take our advice as like absolute truth about Right. Literally anything, because I don't think there is any. Right. We just we're here to show you guys what we do. That doesn't mean it's the right way. The only way, it might even sometimes be the worst way. Yes. <laughs> so, um, we're just showing you guys, you know, our journey, our adventure in reselling, and what works for us. But you know, it doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody. So. Yes. No absolute truth in yeah. reselling, I would say. So these Peter Millar shoes, and actually I bought these retail arbitrage. Uh, I, this was one of my 50% offers that I was sending on Posh, and I regret it a little bit because <laughs> in my head I thought I bought them for 22. I got like several pairs of these. Mm -hmm. um, so 22, I could, you know, when you're doing like the bulk offers on the Poshmark app, you can see what you're going to make if they accept. Right. So in my head I always just have like, in the I kind of like memorize like uh, the amounts I pay for stuff. Yeah. At least a little bit, like I have a general idea. So I was like, okay, if I sell this for this, I'll make $15 profit because <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought I bought them for 22. I bought them for 29 uh, yep. and I sold them for 50 with discount shipping, which leaves me making like $38 and change. So not quite $10 profit, but yeah, that's okay. <laughs> we still have five or so more pairs to sell. Yeah. And if I made $9 off all of them, that's still really good. Right, Overall, it was a retail arbitrage. It's, it's a lot of money to put up to make $9, but yeah. these are these have a really great sell through. The brand is Peter Millar. They're like a knit golf shoe. Hmm. These are women's. The other pair I sold were men's, and they sold on Posh for, I want to say, 80-something really fast. Okay. So. I know they'll all sell, hopefully, for more than a $9 profit. But <laughs> sold some Nobles. Got these at Plato's for $14. Sold them for 70 on Poshmark. Nice. Boxes. Those will both just be medium flat rate. So yeah, Plato's closet. I mean, that was was that the time you, they like underpriced it? Yeah, they so must they have. Had yeah, them two for fourteen, one for sixteen. And then I remember the girl at the register saying to the newer girl, "Oh, those were supposed to be open for more." But thankfully, she still let me buy them. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, they didn't pay more than they sold them to me for. You know what I mean? Right. But hope oh, that was that. And if anyone's ever wondering, the reason I always usually do medium flat rates or like regional B boxes on Posh is just because we have a, a lot of them. And yeah. Any of these could also go in a shoe box, but right. we like to save our shoe boxes for the other stuff. And, you know, we could order as many as we want to, but like we don't have enough space to store right. hundreds of boxes. So we just order usually like a hundred at a time. Yeah. And I just don't want to order a hundred. I mean, I guess if you think about it. I don't know. They're just better <laughs> sizes too. Like yeah. a lot of times we'll have to cut those down or add like packing paper versus these fit those shoes. Really Cause all three of them will do work on posh, but yeah. when you buy just a priority label on eBay or like Mercari or anything like that, um, that doesn't count yeah. for the flat rates and the regionals. <laughs> so that's, that's why she's, you know, the shoe box is basically the one size <laughs> of the priority, like about shoe size. Yep. Sold this Wii U game. I don't even know what a Wii U is. <laughs> Uh, but I got this at a garage sale over the summer for 25 cents. There's actually all of those were 25 cents each. There's a few up there. Those are all Just Dance, and I lotted those four up. And actually, the comps on the Just Dance were okay. Um, I think they would go for about $10 a game. Mm -hmm. Lotted up $40. I paid 25 cents each, so that's pretty decent. Yeah. But anyways, this one sold for $8 plus shipping on Mercari. Not too bad. Cool. Yeah, our boys love the Just Dance, so that's like a, a family game yeah. in the house. We just don't have a, well, I guess we We do it on the Switch, button. right. Uh, that I'll probably find a recycled, like, Amazon padded mailer to put that in. All right, Foxy. Where you at? Oh, I didn't put it in my face. 
the little kid vans. These were my son's. I think I bought them for maybe 25 or so on Mercari. Um, he did wear them, and I sold them for 20 plus shipping back on Mercari. So okay. taking some of our money back. Those are under palm. We'll do a poly mailer. Shout out shipping hips. <laughs> I have to say it every time, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Especially during this time of year because Halloween's are like my favorite mailers. So. And you don't have to say it. Shipping Hip doesn't pay us to say it, right? We do oh, get I affiliates, mean, yeah. but she, yeah. They don't pay me, like, every time I mention their name. Right, right. For sure. Right. Um, but, yeah, don't don't miss out. They do sell out of prints. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, BT Columbia Undies. Sold many of these at this point. Uh, bought them for $5 retail arbitrage. Sold them for 16 plus shipping on eBay. All right. Shipping at Miller. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to buy more. I feel like I've used. Yeah, that she really ones. likes this pattern here. Perfect for Halloween. Alrighty, these are just some Crocs. Bought at a garage sale for two. Sold for eighteen eighty-five plus shipping on eBay. Those are gonna go in a Polly Miller. Don't worry, I won't say it again. <laughs> You get the point. I'll say it. It's a shipping hit mailer. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. All righty, BQ. Hold this curly like pineapple long sleeve hooded shirt. Bought for seven, sold for twenty-two, twenty-two plus shipping on eBay, I believe. Yeah. Twenty-two, twenty-two. That was an offer I sent them. It's funny because actually, I don't know if you remember. Maybe it was last week. I had multiples of these, so one yeah. sold in a bundle with some others, and the price got really low because they it went in our 50% off sale, and I'm like, I feel like somebody else will buy it. <laughs> so I ended and relisted as sell similar, and it sold for a much higher price than it was at 50% off, so. Very nice. Glad I did that. Yeah, that's, we're trying to transition more into that uh, tiered sale on eBay, and we're gonna have a video on that coming out. Um, it's nothing new or special, but um, we had not been thinking about that when we were listing some older stuff. So yeah. by default, there's some older stuff that's out of season and it won't be in season until it would be on like 50%. Yeah. And just so. some retail arbitrage items where I'm like, I'm okay making smaller profit margins, yeah. but like sometimes a 50% off sale would kick it to where I would be losing money and I right. don't really want to lose money because I know it'll sell. I'm okay waiting for right. my items. You know, if we have like a hundred of the same thing, they're obviously probably not all gonna sell within, you know, the first six right. months. And I'm fine with that. This is just off the retail arbitrage champion tank top. I bought this one for two fifty, sat around a while, sold it for nine ninety eight plus shipping. Cause I'm only profiting like five dollars on that. We'll use my free sendo mailers. D, sold some sass. Okay. These, just a pair of sass sandals, and these actually got returned off of Poshmark a while back. Um, you can't tell, but I guess I thought that this was an N, like narrow, and, mm. and when the person got them, it says M, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's pretty hard to see on the listing. Gotcha. Anyways, we're. The worst thing that happened was I got a return Poshmark. You don't lose anything because you didn't pay shipping to them, and Poshmark pays the shipping back to me. Okay. So got the sandals back, um, and then they just resold for nineteen ninety seven plus shipping on eBay. Um, I did have six eighty two into them, so okay. I think they sold for thirty something the first time. So not making quite as much, but glad I didn't lose anything. That's the neat thing about Poshmark. Mm -hmm. And the buyer got refunded her initial shipping as well. Right. Uh, so yeah, just double check those. What are the, what do you even call this? The M or the N or the D or the E, E? Like the width yeah, the measurements? Width, the width yeah. of the shoes. <sighs> <laughs> All right, oh, this was a good sale. Um, I've had this listed a while only because I like priced it up a lot because I love it. <laughs> it was just my son's old Patagonia vest. Mm. And they don't make like the color block ones anymore that I've seen, so I was trying to get close to retail for it, and we wore it like just a few times, and it looks basically brand new. 
I only paid $35 for this at JBF, and I ended up getting $59 plus shipping, so still pretty good. Hey. I think they retail $69, so they're almost about $69 all in anyways um, with their shipping and tax, so. Cool. Yeah. And if you're not familiar, JBF means oh, yeah. just between friends. It is like a huge kids and mom like clothing strollers, like all kinds of stuff like that. Kids related yeah. uh, consignment sales. So like a, like we used to sell, we used to sell a lot, a lot, just yeah. um, you know, bigger stuff and clothes and toys, and um, it's just a huge, almost like a swap meet. But you, it, like it's all like all the girls' size two clothing is all yeah. in one <laughs> area. It's so. nice because it's like thrifting, but everything's super yeah. organized versus Goodwill. Right. You know, they try to put things maybe in size or color, right. but not really. We do have uh, maybe one, maybe two videos on JBF. So check our older videos and, or you know search our channel, and you can see more information on that if you're interested. Yeah. Uh, sold some Skechers. Uh, these I bought for $8.99, sold for $28.84 plus shipping. They are under a pound, so they're gonna go in a mailer. Although, I don't know if they'll fit in the 10 by 13. Let's check. What do we think? I think they will. You think? You don't? I don't know. Okay. Really <laughs> it fits. I like so it's it because these mailers cost like half as much as the larger size. Right, so. yeah. Awesome. Okay, so then BH is down here. Another pair of Skechers. <laughs> Whenever I like go to Skechers in my spreadsheet. So I started, because I have so many, I started typing in the style code on mm. my line items so that when they sell, I can easily find them because otherwise, if I'm like Skechers Black or There's Skechers, like 50. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I have too many Skechers. But then I also have that many sold, so like Skechers is a really good yeah a sell through rate for us. So these not ones, again, not all Skechers, right. right? You got to make sure you check your sold comps. Yeah, yeah. And to me, like ten and twenty five even is fine. Right for a fast sell through, or mm -hmm. you know, generally around thirty. Like this pair sold for twenty nine ninety five plus ship. I think seven ninety nine, so I think that's a good sale. Yeah. But some people don't. Some people want to three, four, or five times their money. Right. So you probably are not going to do that with many Skechers. Um, but so a yeah. lot of people wear Skechers, so. Yeah. Even at the like this morning at the gym, I was noticing a lot of people. I always notice people's shoes because it's like my favorite thing myself. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of people wear Skechers to the gym even. And so. I wear those people now. I'm like, did you see that guy's <laughs> shoes? <laughs> Oh, guys. oh my god, look at his long cloud. <laughs> uh, oh, today this is going to our viewer, Megan. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> uh, she saw that I mentioned it in the last sale and said she'd help me clear some awesome. space to fit with some shoes. So. Shilling it out to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is a very nice Zaya jacket that we got when we were on spring break trip two years ago in Nebraska. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. And I bought it for five eighty seven, and Megan bought it from us for nineteen ninety seven plus shipping. So thank you again, Megan. Awesome, Megan. Thank you so much it's for really that support. Nice. Like, yeah. I, hope, I know you're helping us out. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that, but I hope you love the jacket. It's, it's really cute. It's yeah. in, like, perfect condition. And you're saying you think it, you, you thought it should have sold for like 40 yeah, bucks, like right? Yeah, like I've seen so. other people sell the exact same one. Every time yeah. I go recheck comps, they're still in that like 30 to $40 range. Right. I mean, I'm very happy to move it along. With yeah, money. yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was a size small. I don't know if that was mm -hmm. the reason. Maybe it took longer. If just nobody was looking for it at the right time <laughs> when every time I relisted it. But right. Thanks again. Thanks yeah, again. absolutely. <laughs> All right, CL, this one I only making like a $4 profit on because it's been sitting around so long. It's a pair of nice men's Columbia shorts. New tag, bought retail arbitrage for eight, sold for $14.98 plus shipping. Okay. Well over a year later. Yeah. I don't know what it was with these. These are an XL, so that's a good size. I'm guessing the color because I've sold many other even pre-owned Columbia men's shorts like mm -hmm. the same for more than 14 in the last year. So. I feel like that's a pretty in color for. Yeah, I think it's a good color. Yeah. Well, anyways, they get a free send on my four dollar profit on this. Uh. Okay. And lastly, A W. 
another pair of sass. Wow. Yeah, these ones sold fairly quickly. We bought these. I don't know if you remember the same day we bought those big Sorel boots for 25 when I was like, I'm going to run in as fast as I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So th these were the two shoes, and they both sold within, what, a, a week or two? Right. Weeks. So this one I paid $6, sold for 31 plus shipping. And I just saw another sale come in on my watch. Oh, so nice. We'll pack these and then do that. For sure. So that's going on a padded flat rate. Padded flat rate. Sweet. So we got quite a bit of packing to do. We'll get this all taken care of, and then we'll check back in, find out what else has sold for us. Yeah. All right, guys. Got everything all packed up. We got the, the pile down there behind Kathy, and we have a couple things to open up yeah. from our P.O. box, which we took way too long, so I'm sure everybody was like, whoa. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. So the first one is a letter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. This is from Danita. I think that's how you say it. Let me know if we said that wrong. All right, so Danita is just asking if we do mentorship or would consider mentorship. Uh, basically just struggling with some shipping stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah, Danita, Danita thank you so much for that. We don't really We don't do, do mentorships. That, and we're probably not ever going to. Just right. Because we don't have the time or the knowledge, honestly. Right. Um, there are others, yeah. other YouTubers out there that do offer mentorships. I, I You did leave your email in there. We yeah, will we email you email. for any kind. I think you're specifically. Yeah, she's specifically having some struggles with shipping, which I think is a very common yes, thing. Which yeah. That's why we are trying to make a video specifically for that on all the platforms. Mm -hmm. Separate videos per platform. Coming um, soon, but maybe not yeah. too soon. <laughs> So we'll definitely reach out and see if you have any specific things yeah. that we can help with right away. Um, we also do lives on Thursdays, which we answer questions that come in the chat yeah. pretty much as they come in. Yeah. And if we don't get to it, we pretty much get to it. But if we don't, there's a lot of other people in the chat have, that have been selling longer or no yeah. more. That will help you as well. Yeah. There's so, a lot of back and forth in the chat yeah. that we don't even go over in the lives. So, yeah. For so sure. on Thursday evenings, 8 p.m. Mountain Time. So whatever that equals out for you, if you yeah. can pop in our chat. We can definitely, we can even pull up screens and show you live yeah. how to do certain things. So, But yeah, that is uh, so shipping. I know it's like the biggest Gosh, hurdle really or speed hard, bump. It's, everybody is always days. more afraid than I think they need to be, right? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's the way we're taught in school or yeah. like, you're not gonna go to jail <laughs> if you ship something wrong, right? That's the first thing you, yeah. you gotta understand. <laughs> um, just like with taxes, if you do your taxes wrong, you're not gonna go to jail, you might just pay a little bit more, right? And that's how you learn. Right. Right, I so. I definitely over, <laughs> overpaid shipping, but also undercharged shipping right. and all those things to begin with. And then, yeah, I now I know how to do it. But yeah, we will reach out to you on your email and we'll see if we can give you any pointers that way. So thank you so much for that yeah, letter. We do appreciate that. All right, let's see if I can do this. Without. Oh, a viewer said they were sending some stuff for our kids, right? Uh, Some kid, like a long, it, that's probably this, okay. huh? Is that? <laughs> I feel bad. That was a long time ago, huh? <laughs> that's how long we haven't checked. Oh my We're gosh. so bad, yeah. They're going to love this so much. Let's that's show what it is and we'll here. have the kids. Oh, and Reese. Oh. oh <laughs> Reese. Look at that. And it's gingerbread men. <laughs> oh my goodness. Reese, you want a treat? You want a treat? All right, yeah. we got to get them one right away. <laughs> I know, you've been a good boy today. You're always a good boy. There's a knife right here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it has a perfectly like thingy right here that I found it. <laughs> Apparently I can't open any of them. Got His one or two. One or two. All right, you've been extra good. There you go. <laughs> Who's a good boy? <laughs> oh gosh, who was this from first off? I don't even know if it... Does it say on here? This is the Amazon goddess. From Joanne. Thank you so much, Joanne. Joanne. Awesome. We'll try to get so some video giving them to this. Sweet. This that? Yeah. Whoa. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. What do you guys say? Thank you. Um, they will love this so much. Uh, Sai is obsessed with Legos, and both of them yeah. are obsessed with Roblox. So. Yeah. Thank you. So, so we'll uh, we'll get them these. <laughs> If you want to have them open it maybe a little later or something, yeah. but today's a busy day. Retape of the box or something else, their <laughs> initial reaction right. instead of just like, here you go. For sure. Joanne, thank you so much for that. They're going to love that. We did have a few more sales come oh, through. Right. We have to pick. I'm excited about it. 
remember. Because they, they, like, missed us. Honestly, I didn't think they were going to miss us on our trip. Yeah. But they were like, we miss you so much. Yeah, they and said, so. we miss you, like, a million times just throughout the next day. Not that Grandma, you know, no. was <laughs> they a bad host grandma. for them. But, yeah, they got to play bingo. They got to go swimming. Alrighty, Wrangler. Wrangler? Wrangler. <laughs> There's a lot of syllables in that. <laughs> so, this item, I paid too much for. I paid $12.99. They're just some Wrangler George Strait new tag jeans. I paid 12 did I say I paid $12.99? I thought I could get about $30, so I would at least double my money. That did not happen. I ended up getting $19.97 plus shipping on our 40 or 50 percent off sale i believe so i'm not losing money but i'm making about a three dollar profit after all the fees so Very not nice. everything's a home run yeah that's okay but there is a home run coming up here in a minute oh You're the gonna really anticipation get uh this one I listed some of my son's old books did a dr seuss horton lot there's three different horton books Sold for $12.88 plus shipping. I have no idea what I paid for these. I've got them from various. Yeah. Either garage we used shifts, to kind of put them, them on their wall to, to decorate their room and yeah. Dr. Seuss books. Or... I probably didn't even pay $12 for all of them and we got to read them. So there's yeah. that. Those are going media mail. What do we just. Oh, we wanted to put them in a box just because they're hardcover. Wanted yeah. to be nice. We're probably just going to do a similar box to this. Yeah, because this, this size here. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll, that's that's all about pretty good. We'll pad around the edges and we'll cut the box way down yeah. so that it's pretty thin. But um, we can actually, since there's another lot of books over there, we'll just cut the box in half. We'll use the, the top half for the other set too. So, Thank you. yeah. All right, here is the awesome sale. The home run. The duper awesome sale. All sales are awesome sales. Even $3 profit sales are awesome sales. Yeah. I honestly feel like, like, just, so this is the one that came in first when I was standing there and said that. Yeah. And then these two came in, like, while we were packing all this. And I feel like these sales just spark activity in our store. Right. And get us other sales. That's how I feel. I have no proof. <laughs> but I swear whenever I make, like, a cheapy sale, then I also make a decent sale. When Kathy did make this sale that she's holding, I wish I had the camera ready to go because <laughs> she was like, oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> I wonder if it's still on my watch. Yeah, she got the notification well, that came. It, yeah, all I saw, I didn't even see what the item was at first. In my head, I'm like, what is, what do I even have that cost this much? Because <laughs> we sold, like, all of our $100 items, I feel like, during FlipCon. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, the buyer, this is going global shipping. Uh, I saw the buyer was all in, like, $149. So, that's including the amount they paid right. to get it shipped. It and when like you shipped. do get the notification, that's the pro, the dollar yeah. amount that you see, like, on her watch. Right. So. so, that's not the amount that I get. Right. That's the, buy the buyer's all in $100, like, $49 for the sweater. They're going, it's going to Canada. The brand is Smith. And then it looks like a collaboration with Ogden. I, I don't know what either of those brands are. I know I heard Smith in passing up other YouTubers talking about it, but. And that's S-M-Y-T-H-E. Yeah, -E. I know it costs a lot new. Um, actually, I know I mentioned this when we did a haul, but Jimmy at Old School Flips actually handed me this sweater at the Denver Goodwill outlet because he's just not a clothing seller. Yeah. And I was happy to take it off his hands even yeah. when I didn't know what it was. Like, all I saw when he handed it to me was that it was animal print, which is always usually good. Yep, yep. It's a cardigan, we're going into fall time. And I feel like it's like alpaca and wool. Like so that you could feels, just tell on the material that yeah. it was a good thing, anyways. And at the bins, I'll pick up something to sell for ten dollars. So I was like, this yeah. is probably at least thirty, right? Yeah. So I grabbed it and I sold it for one hundred and nine ninety-five plus shipping. Ooh, so from a the bins. Dollar profit, like Jimmy. Oh, awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you, you Jimmy. so much for handing us that hundred-dollar bill, pretty yeah. much. <laughs> I know. Do you ever buy me a copy? We'll have to buy you a Jimmy. copy or something. So. <laughs> Gotta send you some money. Um, for sure. If you guys don't know Old School Flips, uh, go check out his YouTube. They also run a podcast. So if you're looking for some good podcast material, uh, I will link the podcast down in the description as well. So go check that stuff out for sure. And let them know that we sent you. <laughs> and that, you know, he gave us 100 bucks. <laughs> so, um, uh, so that's under a pound. I was debating, like, doing priority just for, like, coverage because it's so much. But I'm just shipping it to, what is it, Kentucky, right? Yeah. yeah. 
and they're for the global forward ship. it off. And once they forward it off, it's pretty much in. I still would in, get money if something yeah. got damaged after that. So. Yep. Anyways, we'll just do a poly miller to Kentucky. Very, very nice. So we're gonna go ahead and pack the rest of those up off camera. He's, he's like licking his hands after enjoying those treats. He's like, oh no, you just had wait. two. You gotta wait, man. <laughs> That's enough for one day. You gotta exercise. He's like, I'll, I'll beg. You gotta go for a walk. <laughs> anyway, guys, we are gonna call it here. It is Monday. Our kids have Taekwondo. So I, I don't know. We have to find their uniforms. We've been kind of, you know, like out. <laughs> all last week so um yeah we're gonna cut it here get the stuff off to the post office take the kids to taekwondo blah 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 that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching thanks for all the amazing support we had today guys we do greatly appreciate all of that if you are looking for uh, what we felt about going to FlipCon and if we would go again and all that kind of stuff come check us out on our live on a thursday night 8 p.m mountain time we will be more than happy to share with you guys live our thoughts and all that stuff you can also rewatch that live if you want to see that stuff too. So guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.